A civil rights leader now at the forefront of racial discrimination claims against Sesame Place. The Reverend Jesse Jackson calling for change. He was among a group who met with the CEO of SeaWorld, which owns Sesame Place. Our Seanette Wilson reports. A civil rights icon stepping in on behalf of the Brown family in their grievances with Sesame Place over the treatment of their children. These children are very burdened. Incident. Civil rights leader Reverend Jesse Jackson in New York today with other activists joining the fight for justice in the wake of accusations of racial discrimination at Sesame Place. Two children were affected directly by this. Jackson met with the CEO of SeaWorld, which is the company that owns Sesame Place. Officials say the Brown family did not have a direct conversation with the CEO today, but that they are encouraged by a step toward accountability. This, of course, all stems from this viral video showing two young black girls appearing to be ignored and dismissed by a popular character at the park. Today, we believe that it was um, a day of progress. Family attorney B. Ivory Lamar says a meeting with Sesame Place and the family is in the works. Sesame Place, uh, even before the uh, meeting today, uh, made a gesture and stated that they would be willing to sit down with the parents of the Brown family, of the two six-year-old girls as we all, as America has come to know. Earlier this week, Sesame Place announced a series of actions, including anti-bias training for employees. We will see if the statements that have come out are in fact authentic and genuine, um, and that they are in fact standing behind these promises um, that they made. They say the process is about dialogue and change. The Brown family, did not come seeking litigation. They came seeking affirmation and a recognition that the innocence of their children should not be dismissed in the process of business as usual. The family's attorney says that litigation is always on the table, but that the family wanted to start with dialogue and healing. Another meeting is expected in two weeks. Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.